Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So 90 days notice period, I know it's a big pain. A lot of people are asking almost every day that how to survive this, how to handle this situation where companies are asking for 90 days notice period and then my company is not ready to release me. So how to handle that? And then they are asking for the immediate joining. So in that case, guys, I know it's a pain, but it's not, there is no 100% solution for that. But there are some tricks that I can tell you that these tricks I told my a candidate who actually joined my training and then they were actually following it and a couple of candidates that actually got successful in fact i also did a couple of things in my career also when i used to switch in that case so first of all that never say bluntly that you have a 90 days of notice period you simply say that yes i have a 90 days notice period officially but i'll try my best to join you guys as soon as possible i'll talk to my current manager i'll talk to my hr i'll try to get released within 40 to 45 days because I have a responsibility. I have this project with me. So it shows that, okay, this person is actually, uh, uh, you know, having some dependency, responsible person over there and he cannot leave immediately. So that shows some way that uh, the responsible factor also in you, that could be a positive point, but uh, there is no guarantee for that. You never know that, okay, this company is actually looking for immediate journey and then in that case, you cannot do anything. What you can say that, okay, fine, I'll be joining within 45 days or maybe maximum 60 days but you release the offer after 90 days, I'm giving you uh, in return some way that, okay, fine, I'll try my best to do that. Just step like that or whenever they are releasing the offer or when you are doing some communication with the HR people like this, you can do that. Then uh, same time, you just talk to your manager. Okay, that this is what that I got the opportunity. But before that, when you uh, get a call from the HR, you ask this so that at least your resume will be shortlisted and then they will process your resume to the next level. For example, you try to say that, 45 to 60 days or 45 to 50 days or 30 to 45 days if you have a two months of notice period then three months of notice period you can say 45 days to 50 days i can join it i'll try my best to do that that you know that reflects your confidence when you talk to your hr people or when you are writing an email or something like this in bracket also when they were asking notice period right okay officially 90 days but can join or will try to join within 45 to 50 days like that you can say that and then your uh, resume will be shortlisted and then it will be uh, there for the next round. And then you, if you are doing really great at the time of interview and you are shortlisted, everything goes fine, then uh, it's really difficult for them to reject you just on the basis of, just only because of uh, 90 days notice period. Because see, this is the way hiring process work. I was the estate manager. I, we were hiring a lot of people in different companies. I have seen that hiring process uh, very closely that uh, it's not true that okay immediately they are looking for maybe that okay some person has already resigned over there and they are re uh, replacing i mean they're finding a replacement that's why they are hiring you or they are hiring uh, some new folks or maybe there is a full flesh new requirement is there a new project is coming or something like that in that case also they always take two to three months of buffer time guys that is a totally somewhere bluff that a 15 days notice period or a 10 days immediate joining that you have to do it i think uh, you have to play smartly if your interview is really going great and all the rounds are great and then your feedback is really good in that case i think uh, you can easily manipulate and then you can easily say that okay fine i'll try my best to do that and then they won't leave you so that is my personal opinion about it that is for sure and then when you get the offer okay and then uh, when you talk to the hr people after all the rounds before the offer you can say that okay fine this is the policy that i have i'll try my best and uh, I'll talk to my current manager and then next couple of days, I'll give you a surety that, okay, I'll try my best to join that. And just, you just keep replying over the email. Let's see after 10 days, after 15 days, okay, yeah, this is the process is going on. I'm trying my best so that your HR is also having the confidence that, okay, yeah, this person is actually trying in the current company with his manager and the HR like that. So that's very important to, you know, communicate well. And it reflects the confidence when you, uh, you know, negotiate and when you manipulate the things. So that's very important. Maybe some people, they are not agree with me, might be possible, but this is the only solution, guys, that I can say. You have to manipulate the dates. You have to manipulate the things. If you're bluntly saying, okay, no, before 90 days, I cannot join, and uh, that's a strict policy or something like that, then in that case, uh, nobody's going to entertain you. That is a problem. That is a pattern that we have seen. So you have to be a little manipulative about your notice period, get the confidence, and then give the same confidence to the HR people as well, and then make sure you're doing great, best, so with 90 days notice period, make sure that, okay, your preparation is also good, guys, right? So that is what my advice to you guys to crack 90 days, because we actually did the same tricks. Uh, I told, you know, with a couple of folks in my training and they actually used it and they got successfully, uh, you know, released within 30, 45 days, or maybe the company survived, I mean, agreed on 90 days notice period like that, because once you are done, there is a green signal from the 
uh, from the uh, you know all the technical round side then it's really difficult to reject you because this is what exactly they're looking for on the basis of their job uh, description the requirement they're looking for you are the best fit for that and it's really difficult to hire a new people like you so that's why i'm saying that if you're doing great the chances are very high to crack 90 days notice period like this but before that it says that okay you should have that manipulative skills so that you can convince the hr to at least start the technical rounds of discussions and then you try your best so that you will get a chance over there okay so that's all for this particular video thank you so much just a short video to tell you that okay yeah, how to survive and how to handle this 90 days notice period till then take care and god bless you all i'll see you in the next video